Good morning, it's Friday, September 25th, and this is Top Story. In Louisville, Kentucky, a grand jury announced Wednesday the actions of police officers in the tragic death of Breonna Taylor were justified. Taylor was a black woman who died in March as police served a warrant at her apartment when the officers burst in. Taylor's boyfriend said he didn't know who was entering, so he opened fire in self-defense, wounding one officer. That's when police returned fire, killing Taylor. Her death inspired statewide legislation called Brianna's Law, which would ban no-knock warrants. But Attorney General Daniel Cameron said a critical factor in the case has been misreported. The officers did, in fact, knock and announce themselves as police before entering. In other words, the warrant was not served as a no-knock warrant. When officers were unable to get anyone to answer or open the door to apartment four, the decision was made to breach the door. Two officers will face no charges for Taylor's death because they acted in self-defense. The grand jury did indict a third officer for wanton endangerment. Detective Brett Hankinson fired 10 rounds into Taylor's apartment and some of those bullets went through a wall into the next apartment, endangering three other people. The protesters took the streets after the grand jury's decision chanting Taylor's name. Peaceful demonstrations soon gave way to violence. Protesters set fires in garbage cans, looted stores and damaged vehicles. Two officers were shot and wounded. They're in stable condition and a suspect is in custody. All told, officers arrested almost 130 people. Cameron said he knows not everyone will be satisfied with the grand jury's decision, but he said the goal of the investigation was to uncover the truth. Our reaction to the truth today says what kind of society we want to be. Do we really want the truth or do we want a truth that fits our narrative? Also on today's full World Watch show, a look at the world's largest nuclear icebreaker and how it could change the world's ship routes. And which pooch pounced to the top of the heap in this year's Surf Dog Surfathon? Plus, we've got much more on our website, worldwatch.news. You'll see our full 10 minute program. Plus, you'll be able to watch standalone feature stories or view the newscast, get a quick snapshot of the news of the day and continue on your way. Go there right now, sign up. That's worldwatch.news. And remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.